Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and this time I want to show you in Cinema 4D how you can can create crystals like you see on the screen. It's really easy. Um, I used a uh, plugin here but not for the crystals. Uh, it's only for the floor and the lightning. The, um, I used the HDR lightning kit from Grayscale Gorilla. It helps to get real fast to real good results. But this is, has nothing to do with the material. It's uh, You can do it uh, without this HDR kit. Okay, let's begin. We need a new file and in this new file we add a capsule. This capsule has a rotation segments 6, it's a hexagonal shape, a cap segment of 1 because we want to have a tip on top and the bottom, and height segments I do 3, and the radius we do 30. That's enough. Okay, now on the capsule we remove that font, font tag and now we add a material, a real quick material. It's just a transparent material with the refraction of 2 and a reflection with the first null. That's all. Now I move this up a little bit, like this. And now we need something to get more interesting surface. For this I convert this to a polygon object. I, I go to the polygon mode and then I use the knife tool. We uncheck restrict to selection and visible only <coughs> and then we cut this capsule in a random way so we have some some uh, geometry to work with. <coughs> Do it randomly, it's, it doesn't have to use a pattern or something like this, just just cut it where I think you wanna cut it where our um, surfaces or polygons with no cuts, then cut it. Let's see. Oh, let's do a cut here. Okay. Now we have enough cracks, I think. And now we add to this capsule, we add a MoGraph effector, a random effector. And we put this one in here and in the deformer we use polygon. As you can see the polygon is deforming. We lower the strength of it a little bit more. Okay, like this. And to prevent um, just things that di uh, like this we going to the polygon mode on the capsule, select all, hit the right mouse button and do optimize. And now we should get a little bit better here. And parameters we do really low values, 3, 3 and 3. And then we can give a little bit more strength in the effector. And now I add my background, um, my seamless floor and my HDR studio kit. I provide the link to Grayscale Gorilla under the video. And now we do a render. And we see nothing because we, we haven't added material to it. So we have to give the material to the capsule and now we should get something like this. 
and because there is no ambient occlusion and no global illumination, it looks uh, looks fake. Now we edit the render settings, go to ambient occlusion and global illumination without changing the settings, and we do another render. This time it uh, takes much more longer. I will pause the recording while it's rendering. So the rendering has finished and as you can see we have a real cool looking render. And to make this picture a little bit more interesting we can copy this move it a little bit over, move it down and this one we rotate a little bit move it on the axis here copy this one again rotate it move it here can rotate it in this axis as well, this axis, and let's copy this too, like this, and rotate them like this, put them over, Now, if we render now, we should get a little more interesting picture. I will pause the recording again. I will be back when the render is finished. Oh, the render is now finished, and as you can see, you get some real cool looking crystals. Oh, that's how it's done. You can, sure, you can do this on other objects too. That's no problem. Um, just go with a nice tool and cut it and add a random effector. Oh, I hope you liked this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.